Yeah, howdy. It's Friday, folks. Y'all put the work in. We put the work in. When the weekend comes, it's time to get fly with the honeys. I really believe, I, I just, it, I don't see it happening. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be off tomorrow, more than likely, more than likely. I'm, I'm giving it a 98 percent chance I'm gonna be off, which would be cool. Get an extra day with the kiddos. Oh, Cowboy James just, I mean, it is what it is. He's a little boy, you know, he just, Daddy, are you picking me up tonight? Daddy, are you coming over? Daddy, I want to stay at your house. Dad, when you gonna take me to work? <laughs> Well, he's still daddy. I remember my oldest son. I remember. Uh, I remember one weekend it happened. Like I, we were. Unfortunately, we were the every other weekend. Uh, dad and kiddo, you know. Hey, necesario de llantas primero por arriba. I told him we got to take off the the tires before we put it up there. But unfortunately we were there every other weekend. Uh, and I remember he, I, I dropped him off and he was like, bye daddy, see you in, in two weeks or whatever. And uh, I picked him up at neck the next time I saw him and he was like, Dad, are zombies real? Dad, what happens um, when we die? Dad, do you have a checking or a savings account? Dad, um, I do know I want to be in the army someday. <laughs> Look, I'm telling you, one weekend that daddy was gone and that boy was down to business. Exteriors, they were so freaking popular. Golly. Everybody was trading theirs in to get something like this. Easy. Something came flying at me. What do you think about that little lifted Dodge? Pretty cool little Dakota. I mean, with a better paint job, but I think it looks good lifted like that. And if I remember right, it was Carol Shelby working with Chrysler and Dodge and all that, that he was like, hey, put a V8 in these little bitty trucks. Cause Dodge was the only one that did it. Um, I never seen, there were no V8 S10. Now there was a supercharger one that was, um, but it wasn't no V8 and S10, wasn't no V8, no Ranger. Uh, let's see. I don't remember Toyota and their little trucks back in the day. I think they had a, I think they might have put a 22R, but that's a V6 in most of them. But yeah, it was Carroll Shelby. If I remember right, I'm almost pretty sure I'm right about it. He was like, put a V8 in little trucks. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, so uh, probably won't work this tomorrow. I'll go fishing again today, so I don't really have to go fishing this weekend. You know, I got that, got my fix. You know, got that out of me. <laughs> Thank you, compadre. Uh, teammate, plays along. Whatever you want to do, cowboy. He just wants to chill out. That's all it's really about. And you know, staying out of restaurants is pretty safe activity right now. Got any goodies? Nothing? Oh, come on, man.
I need to get started on some of this big stuff. Close is it to vacation? So uh, if I don't have to work next Saturday, then I'm on vacation. Monday was kind of like the official day or the paid day of vacation. In the past, I've always like just cashed my vacations in and like just kept working, and now it's kind of like got a reason to, to go somewhere and hang out with some great people, some cool people and have fun and it's like the perfect opportunity, like everything lined up for us. It's Friday folks! It's Friday folks! Dang, must be an echo. <laughs> How you like that? <laughs> I'm a dad. I keep saying it over and over. I am completely authorized these corny jokes. I'm a dad. Oh, it looks like I should have spun it the other way. Oh well, it'll all work out. I'll just make one lopsided the other way. What Bob Ross say? There are no accidents, just happy little mistakes. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> oh, there are no mistakes? Just anyway. Something like that. Get it. Where you want me to pop it, man? How about that? Hey, can anybody tell I'm ready to go on vacation? Who knows? I really, really doubt it, but they might put my loader in the shop and see if they can at least determine what the problem of the air conditioning system is. I mean, here, I mean, it's still freaking hot. Yesterday I got hot. I ain't gonna lie, folks. I got down there on the ground and uh, I was drinking my water. I was sweating, you know, like I was supposed to. And then all of a sudden I wasn't sweating. And then all of a sudden, I wasn't feeling good. By the grace of God, I was I was never a, a heat casualty when I was in the army. Cause like they make you like see once you're heat once you're heat casualty, you're twice as acceptable to getting it. You know to having to having a, a heat exhaustion or um heat heat uh, heat stroke. You, you you can you can get it. You know you. you You can be a victim of it again. And uh, then they make you, if that happens, well then like somewhere on your gear, like they, when I was in, like they would take like this two inch, like red tape on your gear. And you're like, dang. And of course it's kind of like a, a, you know, it's warrior stuff in the army. I was an in infantry. So having that there was kind of like a, you know, like a bag of, like a badge of weakness. <laughs> I don't mean to be that way, I'm just saying. I remember one summer I was working in Fort Fort Worth and I was on the I was on the end of a cutting torch and uh, I got hot one day and was cramping at night and just uh, you know getting sick and Went back to work the next day, and golly, it was 10, 
10 30 11 o'clock and i was just getting sick and everything was cramping and ended up uh, going to the emergency room and they put like 17 or 18 liters of that iv solution in me before i ever had to pee like i was like in bad shape they were really worried about my kidneys but luckily they got me fixed up and they had an iv going in each arm working out in this heat is dangerous i know Get it, get it! I'm just a common man! I crush a common van! Mario, no, compadre don't want the stereo. <laughs> we crush them near, we crush them far. I don't really care what they are. Somebody's gonna have to ride another verse for us. That's all I got. Hey, you know, a little something about a muddy feet. That man knows his way around a guitar. like a like a junker like a scrapper like his truck broke down and he's like well might as well scrap it too I gotta remember I think I spotted a um, like one of those small propane tanks for like camping or like a, a little lantern I gotta I gotta remember to check for it day in Dallas, Texas, folks. Fine day indeed. You know, I'm looking at that Ron spray painted on there and it's thinking about, it's got me thinking about shout outs. I, I don't, I want to get back to shout outs. I do. I do. I, um, I think that's, I think that was the, the number one success to the, my channel having, you know, early, early success. And um, it's such a wonderful way to be able to, to return the favor of y'all watching the channel and supporting. And But who do I start off with? I mean, a, a, lady, a lady recently lost her service dog, a, a Princess Diva. I would love to do a shout out to them. Um, there's people battling cancer. Um, there's guys that have supported the channel for the whole time. And what, what do I do? What do I, how do I not offend anybody? It's like I, it's like I started something, or like I wrote a check that my channel can't cash. I'm in a bind. That's what I'm looking forward to this, this coming up vacation. I'm gonna think about it, get it worked out, see what we can come up with. I wanna do shout outs again. I really wanna do, but I just, I, I, I don't know. I don't want nobody's feelings hurt. Don't know what kind of dude I am, but I am a junkyard dog. Don't be fooled. A little SUV, I hate to tell you this. It's your last rodeo, cowboy. 
That's two. That's two in one video. I'm just getting primed up for the road trip. That's all I'm doing. Priming the pump. Hey, I don't want to hear it. I'm telling you, I broke out a little cheesy line at the gas station, and we're talking about Sunday. She's got kids, I got kids, and I'm like, hey, I got this spot at the marina, and uh, we can feed the fish. Uh -huh. The kids will love it. Boom. It says Ron, but it don't say number seven, number nine, oh. number four. Oh, I was going to see how many more I needed, and then when I got closer, I just stopped marching. That's what I meant by it, like, No biggie, man. No, I'm just, it's a man, bro. It's gravy, dude. It's 11 o'clock and we need to crush two more cars. Hey, I am too, dude. I am too. All right, I think we're done with this old nasty looking Dodge truck. Get it. Um, that's a rodeo. It's at the last one right here because, you know, we're going to crush it. So it's your last rodeo. You get it? You, you, your last rodeo. <laughs> well, we just had a truck show up. I was wanting to crush everything else on the load, this rodeo and that little Dakota over there, it's crushing. But trucks don't wait. You don't ever have a truck waiting. You, you take care of them first. Where'd Ronnie go? Don't go nowhere, Ronnie. Let's crush this. Dang, I was supposed to put that freaking van chassis up there, but I wanted to move that truck, that stupid rodeo. Dang, I wanted that the, the chassis for the van, the, well, the van next. That'll finish this bundle, but I had to move that truck, that red, Rodeo so I can get this goddamn truck in there. Cab's not sitting all the way right on that. That might be a little better. Oh, uh, I was chatting with the uh, guys. Muddy Feet TV went live last night, and there was 180, 83 in the chat. Like, that, he, he, he beat my best. I had to go live car crushing to get those numbers. And that was kind of like a, that was probably like a once in a live, well, especially with this company, you know I mean? Management and my company, they're aware of my channel and one of the agreements was, you know, we weren't going to do no live car crushing. Um, what if something happened, you know? Dang, I should have put that stupid chassis up there. Let me run over here and move a car for this guy. This is his first time here. It's the first time I've ever loaded him. And, uh... I told him how, how everybody else does it, and... I told him I'd move anything I need to. Which I love about this job. Ain't no, uh, impossible, um, can't, won't, um, no... We don't use those kind of words. If you let me, I'll move this one too, dude.
Let's see what the dragon move this expedition a little bit more too. Dating cowboy. I'm telling you. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Boy, you got that door open. Oh, he got it. My daddy always said, lend a hand where you can, son. I guess we gotta give the credit to Mr. John Deere. <laughs> hey, y'all don't be laughing at me about this rinky dink load. I didn't put I didn't pick these cars. I don't that's one portion of the operation I don't do. <laughs> this ain't much This ain't much of a load. I didn't put this, I, I would, if they didn't have any more cars available, I would have put more. I'm sure the truck will so appreciate it. We'll put five. Yeah. And we'll put one in the front and four on the back. What's that now? Oh no, we're gonna we're gonna put five bundles total. So the way we usually do it with these Dex trailers is we put a small one or we try to put a small one on the front. And then we're gonna put two in the middle and then two on the end. You're still, hey, no biggie, man. My name's John. Everybody calls me cowboy. All right, I see why. Oh, you see why? Because the hat, huh? Without the hat, you're just a dude, huh? <laughs> but um, that's how we do it. All right. Um, now, we, like, uh, let's say we have, like, four small ones and, like, a really big one. Then we'll put two small ones in the front and that big one in the middle and the two on the end. We run it like that, but I got you, Bubba. Right. You came to the right spot. Well, I should have said that after we finished loading. <laughs> How long you been picking up loads? How long? Two weeks? All right, don't worry, man. I got the patience of a chopping block. Don't worry, Bubba. I got the bundle a little crooked on the forks. It might, as long as he watches the bundle and not the tractor, everything will be fine. Oh, sorry about the dirt on your trailer, my bad. My bad. He must have gotten a hurry. It might have been me. I was on the ground guy for a little while too. But usually you put a, when you take the wheel off, you take another lug, you take one of the lug nuts and you put it back on. Was he climbing on the truck? Oh, he's walking around. He caught, oh, he's getting his chains out. I was like, why is he climbing up there? He's just getting his chains out. He's got like a, some trailers you'll see they'll have a hole cut in the bed and they'll have a chain box. 
Well, he's just got one big chain box. You hung up, dude. Boy, it ain't easy being easy. Hey, this right here is flatbed trucking. I'm not a truck driver. I'm not talking no smack. But in my opinion, being a non-trucker, looking at the trucker stuff, this is trucking right here. I'm not a trucker. I think the back should go over a little bit. Hey, you want to move the back over a little bit? You sure? Man, if that's what it takes, I don't mind doing it. I mean, and hey, and every operator should. Don't let, don't let them. Hey, don't. Hey, don't. Dude, don't let them put something on you. Don't make them fix it, dude. All right. Hey, my kids are out there on the road too. Make them do their job. This here's a stress-free load. It's tiny. He's like, man, did I pick a load up? That truck ain't even gonna know these cars are on there. All right, here's where you make your money. Let's see how he flips some chains. This is probably... All right, look like, I mean, looks like he knows what he's doing. Looks like he's been doing it. Oh, he got it. And chains start falling back down and hitting the ground. That's expected. I was hoping to crush a few more cars in this video. I guess I could. Hey, you know, I got some trucker buddies out there. Shoot. This is part of it right here. I mean, don't really count for nothing until it goes to the meal. You get that check. my screw up. I mean it wasn't real a screw up. That rodeo's gotta get that rodeo's gotta get drained anyway. I don't really want to pop it. It seemed like a nice little tire. Mateo Chiquito. 
Now them little two pound sleds, we call those uh, a Chiquito Hermano, little brother. What's rolling in? All right, let's get this last uh, bundle on this truck. This guy took care of. We've got a lot of, well, some out of town work, and um, our drivers are are busy doing that. So this guy is a uh, owner, operator, contract driver, if you want to call it that. Be careful, be kind.